In the wake of Matthew Perry's tragic death at the age of 54, his ex-girlfriend, Katie Edwards, has made startling claims about the late actor's state of sobriety leading up to the incident. Perry was found dead from an apparent drowning in the jacuzzi of his Los Angeles home, sparking concerns about the circumstances surrounding his demise. Edwards, who dated the friend Zalem in 2006 and remained close to him after their split, disclosed to the son that Perry exhibited signs of being high before his death. Expressing doubt about the official narrative, Edwards asserted, I know Matthew, and I know that he wouldn't have just drowned. I think he might have taken pills in the week leading up to this. She referenced Perry's final social media post, a picture of him in a jacuzzi captioned, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good? I'm Matman, posted five days prior to his death. Having briefly dated Perry after meeting at an Alcohol Anonymous meeting, Edwards also worked as his assistant in 2011. She revealed that Perry, under the influence, often invoked the moniker Matman and felt invincible, especially when engaging with water. Edwards recalled, he always wanted to be in the pool or the jacuzzi. Edwards, who was around Perry during his periods of substance use, expressed concern about his drug consumption. She recalled advising him to cut back on drugs, to which he allegedly responded, No, I'm Matman. Perry's death raised questions about the role of drugs, but initial tests excluded fentanyl or meth from his system. A comprehensive toxicology report is pending to ascertain the exact cause of death. Contrary to expectations, Edwards claimed that there were no prescription painkillers at the scene, citing Perry's paranoia about leaving drugs accessible. According to her, he would consume all available drugs and then procure more when needed, leaving no evidence behind. The circumstances surrounding Perry's demise continue to be subject to investigation, with Edwards shedding light on a complex picture of substance use and the actor's matman alter ego.